Welcome, welcome to the lie. Why do we lie? Lay or lie, it's up to us to choose. Yes, we speak the words about truth, but we lie it. We say freedom, independence. But what are we doing? So when we talk things that we don't understand, the people, they believe us. Because out of the ignorance, and this is what all the so-called criminals, dictatorship, Hitler and this and that, they started talking words that majority of the people, they couldn't say, we don't understand your stupid words. Truth is so simple. But the lie is so complicated. And we are not simple, we are not honest to say, I didn't get it. Oh yes, I do. Thank you, I understood. No. Christ is saying, let the words be yes, yes, no, no. That's it. It's so simple. But lying is part of the etiquette. Yes, you lie on your body, the way you wear, and you put all this makeup, all the masks, and you go out, and people, they look at you, they are admired, they cannot do it, and you own jewelry and this. You are lying on yourself, not on the others. So watch out. And you can stop it any time. Imam Ali, he said, when I see the lie coming, I watch it. I feel it. I watch it. I know it's coming from me to me. And then it hurts the others and it hurts me. So let go. And this is how we became very unique, enlightened being. And he's still alive because he doesn't lie. And he never lied. And so many of the wise sages and prophets and Christ consciousness and the kids, until we teach them how to lie, then they become politics. So the lie is just telling words that we don't know. And we are not courageous enough to say, I don't understand it, I don't get it. Truth is so simple. Mama speaks so simple and so dead. Why do we become like all these professors and teachers and all this? My specialization is sexology and you cancerology and you brain gelology. Fuck itology. Fuck it all. The best pill. You don't need any sorbitol, panadol, patadol. Fuck it all. Throw the bell and the bell and take a deep breath. You don't need to be number one, the richest. Just be yourself. You are not a number. Remember, you are a member. So you don't need all this lies and what for to get the respect. Respect from who? From the politician? From this rich king and the his Highness, Her Highness, Your Majesty, and all these labels, all these titles, all these pebbles. It's like you are buying shoes with a label. It's very expensive because of the label. You are a pebble looking for a label. Like putting a crown sitting on a throne. You are so cheap. But we are responsible, we don't respect you, unless you have this authority. That's cheap people, cheap picture, it needs a good frame. Go beyond the frame. Why are you into looking at the window? Fly in your sky and nobody can catch you. No footprints. You are free. Like the bird when he was on the branch of the tree and the man was cutting the tree and they said, you know, the farmer is, the woodcutter is cutting the tree. He said, I'm not supported by any tree, by any branch. I'm supported by my wings. So beautiful. You too. Your wings. This is your way. This is your will. When there is a will, there is a way. So why lie? You know, it's like what to do with others. 
to cheat them, to just, you are lying on yourself, and you are responsible for the others to keep a curtain on their face. Wake up. You don't need, start watching when you are lying and stop it immediately. People start telling lies because they give them a specialty. Yes, they don't understand what I'm saying. He doesn't do, she doesn't do. Truth is universal, the lie is private, it's my own. Your own creativity. You are creating lies, you are a liar. So people, they respect your lies because they are also ignorant and cheap. This is an ego trip. The ego is the greatest lie in the world. The I. There is no I. There is the amnes, and that amnes, it's in every one of us, that existence. Existence doesn't lie, it dances with all the seasons, all this, the synchronicity. Why do you have to lie? Because you need the money that's in the pocket of that person. Then you get the money, and the money is a dirty money. What does dirty money do for you under the dirt and the earth? Truth needs no believers. First, when you are lying to somebody, if you become aware immediately in the middle of it, ask to be forgiven. It needs courage to tell you, forgive me, I was lying. The other, mainly in the Arab world, we don't respect the truth like this. Oh, he was lying, he's a liar. But with the commune, we all say it once a week. We sit together and it's discharge, vomit. All what we did this week to each other, to myself, the other is my mirror. I be a watcher. Become aware when you are just preparing to tell a lie. Become aware when the lie starts arising in you. And then you are the boss. You are the one who is holding it. Let go. A lie is a step. A stepping stone on my trip. And then thank you and thank you and thank you and thank you. And only the truth comes. In Arabic, La ilaha illallah. We start with negativity, all the fear. And then all the dirt will come. And then the water comes from the source, from the spring. So everything starts with negativity. Don't kill, don't, don't lie, don't, don't, don't. Okay, there is no, no killing. No small God or whatever, only the bigger mystery of treasures and this Allahu Yahu. So take the cup of the people, the others, and put the best wine in it. And then we change the best cup to the exclusive wine, both of us. We become devotees to this divinity which has no lie in it. Lie is artificial. It comes from the mind, it comes from fear, it comes from ignorance, it comes from our, we are victims of this. From Adam and Eve to this moment, we are all victims of this lie and victims of this. What's going on all over the history? Live the mystery in this moment. No history and no tomorrow, no future. Now is the only nurture. There's no other time than now, this moment. Be at one moment with yourself. Why lie? So are you a body or nobody or somebody? Or let's see this beautiful. This is a lit story about four people named everybody, somebody, anybody, and nobody. Four. There was an important job to be done and everybody was sure that somebody is going to do it. Anybody could have done it, but nobody did it. We all depend on each other. Somebody, anybody, everybody. Somebody got angry about that because it was everybody's job. Everybody thought that anybody could do it and nobody realized that everybody wouldn't do it. 
it ended up that everybody blamed somebody when nobody did what anybody can have do it, you know. It's like so beautiful, play with the words. Nobody is here to fulfill your dream. Everybody is here to fulfill his own destiny, his own reality. You know that story when the king was coming and well, this royal family, the throne prince or whatever, and then the people, the poorest, all waiting for the king. And another poor, uh, whatever, beggar came with a chair that it's so broken and put the chair in front of the chair of the king. And everybody said, who are you? He said, I'm bigger than the king. Hop! The prince the first son of the king who's waiting for his dad to die so that he will become the crown one. And he said, are you greater than the king? He said, yes, I am greater than the king. And they said, only Allah, only God is greater than the king. He said, I'm greater than God. Everybody said, nobody is greater than God. He said, I am the nobody. And everybody was like, fucked up. He said the truth. I am the nobody. And he left the chair and he went out. The king came and he said, there is a silence, but this silence looks not like the silence of the palace or the silence of the grave. This is a silence of grace. Who was here? Everybody. Somebody is out. He went there and he saw this beggar and the beggar looked at the king and said, we were together in our past life. Why are you becoming like this? Are you a king? Are you somebody? Anybody? Nobody? He just followed him. Not even one word. Because he gave a sign. It's a revelation. Truth revealed through the people that they don't lie. And he, and he said, this is my home. The grave. I'm here. I have no name. No title. I just live here. And this energy goes all over the planet like any living light. And he said, can you give me a paper and a pen? This is it if you want it. Here is my palace. And that's my grave. And they asked his daughter, not the son, to be the queen, a mother power and she became the queen with all this richness and she was all the time looking for the truth and the truth was the sword of death where am I going with all this richness everything all these people all these politicians there is the truth of death where am I going and she said, the illness, the lie is not in the money, is not in the palace, it's in us. So all the time she was concerned and focused on what's going to happen in the next breath. And she became one of the greatest enlightened being, sharing, not teaching, that we are all royal family. We don't need any title, any palace, any place. Even if you are in a palace, this is your grave. And you are in a grave, this is your palace. It depends on your choice.